this presentation is about the Cypress Fairbanks Independent School District's technology plan for 2011 to 2014. Our district has 83 campuses, over 100,000 students, and almost half of our student population is economically disadvantaged. We have spent or are spending over 54 million in technology. Uh, you can see the breakdown there of the teaching and learning budget versus uh, professional development budget and leadership budget and infrastructure. And clearly infrastructure uh, takes the cake uh, more than the others combined. Technology expenditure per pupil. Um, all of our campuses have direct co connection to the internet there are three students for every computer and one teacher for every computer. To put that number into perspective, in 1993 the student to computer ratio was 8 to 1 and the teacher to computer ratio was 3 to 1 and the connection was dial up. This is a wordle that I put together based upon the executive summary of our district's technology plan and you can see obviously the word technology occurred the most, but after that, uh, from right to left, you see the word increase, learning, level, tech, development, teachers, professional, target, district. These are the, you can, you can get a sense for the emphases um, of the, the people on the committee that put this plan together uh, based on those words. Uh, also, they, uh, the body of the plan consists of four needs that the district identified uh, with a number of goals and objectives for each need. The first one is to increase the frequency and level of utilization of technology in the teaching and learning process. Uh, with that, uh, they have a number of objectives. Um, all of these objectives are tied to the Texas star chart. Uh, but the first one is to increase the pattern of classroom use to the target tech level as evidenced by classrooms where teachers are seamlessly integrating technology in a student-centered environment. That one probably encapsulates the whole thing uh, best, where the seamless part, where it is just a part of the class, um, although uh, the, the students themselves would be involved in this also, um, and it is it is a it is a uh, an organic part of the teaching and learning, uh, but the emphasis on the second half of the sentence is probably most important. That the that teaching and learning is student centered. Uh, increase the frequency of use of digital content by providing teachers daily access and use of a variety of digital tools and resources. Um, and you know we want they also want to increase online learning uh, opportunities for the students to access teacher created content um, and I would assume or I would would I would have liked to have seen in this plan um, in addition to that uh, student created content you know if they're if they're collaborating then then um, and and if the teaching and learning is student centered then one would expect the the some of that online content to be student student created. Uh, the next need is to maintain and increase the level of professional development necessary to assist teachers in using technology effectively. Um, there are a number of, of objectives in here associated with SBEC um, and with the ISTE standards. Um, they want to increase the content of professional development, increase the models of professional development, um, increase the capabilities of educators um, via professional development, increase participation in technology professional development, increasing levels of understanding and patterns of use as evidenced by most teachers utilizing digital tools. Um, and they want to maintain the professional development for online learning. Um, these are these this 
need, I think, is particularly striking. And, when, and at the end, when I provide some of my own thoughts, we'll come back to this question. But um, I think it is good that the district has identified uh, professional development as a need. Uh, next, we have provide administrative leadership and support for teachers in the use of technology. Uh, and that is really what uh, this degree plan is about, is, is um, producing people who can do that. And um, of course, the principal is the most important person on any campus. And so this, you know, having a principal and support of technology and really not just um, support, but leadership sort of trailblazing in technology um, is a real need. Uh, and if not the principal, somebody else on campus who can um, who, who can demonstrate real leadership. Um, they want to increase the degree to which campus and district leadership promotes continuous innovation with technology leading to increased student achievement. Um, and they want to increase instructional support for other teachers, um, increase the degree to which campuses and the district use technology. Um, they want to provide budgetary support, which is, of course, always an important part of administrative leadership. Um, and again, increasing online learning capabilities. They keep coming back to this, um, which is, I think, is an important uh, aspect of, the, of our district's technology plan, is the focus on online learning. The fourth uh, and final need that the district identified uh, is they want to update and enhance the district's technology infrastructure consistent with the Texas Star Chart. Um, they want to maintain a student to computer ratio of, of 2.75 to 1 um, with a five-year replacement schedule. Um, and they want to implement a, a target tech ratio of 1 to 1 when needed. Um, so I think the 2.75 to 1 represents a realistic um, goal for the next five years, although um, we'll come back to this later as one of the articles that we read pointed out um, that you know having a five-year plan is really too long with technology changing as quickly as it does um, uh, that goal ought to be able to be met um, much sooner um, they want to maintain and increase the district's internet connectivity and speed provide additional classroom technology to enhance student instruction maintain current technical support levels, improve local and wide area network capability, maintain and increase distance learning capacity. And again, the online and distance learning um, is, is prevalent here. Um, you know, there are, an, uh, there are a number of other issues and I want to share some of my own thoughts. Um, the money aspect of this you know, $54.7 million, um, and we're buying uh, laptops with Windows when we could be buying laptops with Linux operating systems, which are free um, and are very much usable for, especially for what uh, we want to do at the high school level. Um, uh, you know, I, it, I think that th that, you know, moving in a direction of the open source um, and now with cloud-based computing, there are lots of different ways to save money. I've read recently about a USB stick computer that costs $25. Um, it doesn't have hard drive space, but it, it um, would allow students to explore, to experiment with programming, particularly in um, computer tech classes. Um, you know, I think that a lot of the, the computers that are being bought um, don't have the kind of or they have too much horsepower, really, for uh, the needs of most students. Um, you know, the the Google is making inroads in this with this Google, uh, their Google Chromebook that is coming out, which is a web-based only uh, computer. Um, and I think that's a step in the right direction, although there are security concerns and uh, it it will not integrate with um, Apple products at all. Um, and so it has some limitations, but but uh, I think that ultimately that's going to be the the way of the future. 
Um, the professional development, I think that the district is making efforts and good efforts to provide professional development, uh, but you know, the, a lot of the opportunities, um, you have to go look for them, and um, with the exception of these 30-minute webinars that are offered on Thursdays, um, for anyone that has time uh, to do it, to access it during the day. Um, but I, th I think it would be preferable to use the existing in-service days um, rather than going over the same material that, that go is gone over every year, um, that if the, dis the schools uh, were to take more of a technology-based approach to those in-service days, that might be a much, I, well, I think that it would be a much better use of, of professional development time. Um, the technology report uh, doesn't hit these issues directly, but the, the, uh, the filtering um, system I think is good. I think it could be better. Uh, I like the fact that, that teachers have different accounts and can access things that the students can't so that if the teacher wants to show a YouTube presentation uh, using, the, using the projector, they can, um, but the, the, the students can't, and that's fine. I don't think they should. But I do think that um, there are too many restrictions placed on the teacher accounts, uh, and so much so that it that it um, uh, it stifles creativity, it stifles stifles innovation, um, because you know there's nothing there there are, there are lots of things that just can't be done on a district computer uh, without running afoul of the of the agreement of the uh, internet use agreement. Uh, the student information service, uh, I think, is, I mean, it's its there, but it, it is difficult to access um, in, our, in a district this large. Uh, it's an important uh, issue, but it's also in a district this large. There are lots of bureaucratic hurdles to get over. Um, uh, the, the site is not um, easy to access uh, by any means, and um, it is not integrated with the the grade book. So uh, there, there, there are a couple things that can be done there I think that, that would be good improvements but um, and all in all I think the plan is a solid one um, but there are some some ways in which I think that it could be updated. Uh, so thank you very much and I hope this presentation has been helpful.